guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log into your credentials and once you're done with this just simply come back over here and activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that now in description box i will share one github link so just open that link and then you are able to access this document now just copy all this command just copy this wait for a second and run the command over here just wait for a couple of seconds and then click on authorize now you are done with the task number one and task number two now just simply come on the task number three just copy this command do not copy that comma just make sure of that thing just copy the command now just simply search for the logging open this thing in new tab come back over here and now click on this log router like this okay now just wait and then click on this create sync now paste the name over here then click on this next from here you have to just choose the cloud pops up topic like this now just wait now from here you have to just choose this then click on next okay now for the filter first of all what you have to do just copy this project id go back to the notepad and here you can see just replace the project id over here like this and make sure that there is no extra space now copy all this thing paste over here like this then click on this next and create sync now just wait for a second and it's done now if you just go to the language instructions just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now what we have to do first of all just copy this name now just simply search for the cloud function open this thing in new tab come back over here now click on this create function replace the name over here like this okay now here from the trigger type you have to just choose cloud pops up like this just wait and from here you have to just choose vm edits like this okay now click on this save and then click on next okay now please make sure that for the runtime you have to just choose the python version 3.7 just make sure of that thing okay now just simply click on deploy now just wait for this cloud function get deployed and it's finally done now if you just simply come back over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now just copy this command go back to your dashboard run the command over here like this now just simply scroll down copy this command and just make sure that this command ended with end of file like this okay now copy this paste over here now just copy this command run over here then copy this now just wait for this command get executed.
and it's finally done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue okay now just simply come on the task number seven copy this first command run over here and now just wait for this class get complete and it's done now if you just simply scroll down copy this command and run over here and it's cre created now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score over here no need to worry if you just simply search for the vm instance over here and open this thing new tab and come back over here just wait and then click on this instance 2 okay and if you just simply scroll down and here you can see custom metadata and here you can see this key no need to worry because lab take time to update a score so just wait for a couple of time and just click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and as you can see after a couple of attempts i got a score and if i just check the score for the previous task i will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.